Vegan cheese is a bit of a headache. Ask someone in 2019 if they've got a favorite vegan cheese and you're likely to hear a response along the lines of No. I, no, that's not a thing. But hope has not forgotten the plant-based consumer in search of a tasty mozzarella. Options for vegan cheese are more bountiful than ever. While doing preliminary research for this video, I found no fewer than 14 brands of vegan cheese I wanted to include. The question I wanted to answer, what is the best mass market vegan pizza cheese in 2019? Ultimately, I was only able to include 12 of them because the other two are local to Southern California and more on them later. But for now, because I wanted this video to reach a lot of people, I opted for brands with a broad presence in the United States. For friends of mine in communities where retail options are limited, I included a homemade recipe as well, just to see how well it holds up against the commercial brands. The scoring system our testers use is a simplified version of the American Dairy Science Association's ballot for judging the quality of cheese, which I found in a book called Cheese, Chemistry, Physics, and Microbiology, fourth edition, or Cheese, fourth edition, or C4E, or CFE, as we call it on the boards. There are no boards. I, I didn't seek out any boards. I don't, I, I don't know the boards as nomenclature, but from here on out, I, I will be referring to Cheese 4th Edition as CFE or C4E. Anyway, CFE provides ample adjectives with which a tester might describe the appearance, texture, and flavor of cheese. From the obvious creamy, to the horrifying fecal, to the merely troubling mothball, I felt providing my testers with a word bank from CFE would add more distraction than benefit to the testing process. Still, even without the benefit of knowing they had access to words such as soapy or whey taint, they managed to find a vocabulary of their own with which to describe their experience of these mass market cheeses. And I think we found something we could agree on, even if only the fact that we do all seem to love pizza. In this video, I hope to dispel myths and shed light on the issue of vegan cheese. If you've had a bad vegan cheese in the past, at the end of this video, you'll know that there's more out there for you. And if you've had a good vegan cheese in your future, you'll have us to thank. I'm gonna think more on that another time. I'm gonna do that math another time. But for now, here is the Vegify.app Vegan Pizza Cheese Taste Off 2019. So today we've got a special treat, we've got a special guest. Lauren is going to help me create a double blind test. And she hey. is gonna, hey, hi, this is Lauren. <laughs> she's a PhD candidate at the University of California. Lauren and Houston. she's. So for the taste test to be as fair as possible, the best way we can do this is to make sure that John is blinded to what the actual cheeses are. I'm going to be uh, using these plastic baggies in order to put the cheeses and also have a secret code that I label each cheese. John will then use only these plastic baggies with the code whenever he's making the pizzas and therefore will not be aware of whatever the cheese is. Hooray! Yay, science! Thanks so much for your help, Lauren. <laughs> I have to leave the room now, so y'all enjoy her company for a while. Get out of here. I'll be back in just a minute. So we need 27 grams of cheese per pizza. Um, so I'm going to be measuring that out and then putting it into the baggies, like I said. Um, again, John's not gonna know which uh, particular cheese is in each baggie, so that way when he's uh, using them, it will be a blind test in terms of which is the preferred cheese. And we're set. Thanks yeah. so much. Go vegan. Yes, go vegan. I gotta make some pizza crusts. We've got 12 little mini pizzas. And we've got 12 different varieties of cheese. So we're going to make so much pizza. It's at this point I should tell you, this video is a compilation of two rounds of taste tests. When planning this video, I decided I would need a first round to determine which cheeses I liked best, then a second to determine which cheeses my friends would enjoy. So when I'm tasting pizzas, I'm using a different code than they are since they were no longer a 12 cheese sample. The graphics on screen should clear up any confusion about which cheese is A, B, C, or D, which, again, only changes when I'm speaking. For everyone else, it's the same. I've sorted the taste 
taste test from lowest score to highest for good old fashioned suspense. But if you just want to see how a particular cheese did, there are time code links in the description. Now this could be fun. This could be disastrous. We're cooking a lot of vegan cheeses and they don't always melt very well. So now what I'm gonna do is sit here like a little kid watching Saturday morning cartoons. It's gonna be fun. Some are melting, some are not. While it's cooking, I've got my cheese evaluation cards here. Evaluating the cheeses for melt, texture, flavor, and overall effect. Cards A through L. Good looking pizzas. There we go. That's our pizzas. They all look really good. Let's eat some pizza. Pizza F. This is definitely day F. So we'll just work through that. All right, F. Day, uh, yeah, you technically melted, really just sprouted some oil. All right, you get, I fucking hate this cheese. All right, one star. I bought, I bought this cheese because I wanted to be fair and like it's a mass market vegan cheese, but like nothing else on this tray looks anything like freaking Daya. They were first to market. We're glad we have them. We're glad they're here. Tastes like Daya. Yeah. The flavor is fine. The texture is fine. It's actually bad. I don't know why I'm trying to give it credit for being fine. Uh, whenever you first go vegan, it manages to mimic some kind of flavor that tastes like what you remember cheese as. And then you get like six months down the road and for whatever reason, to me, it just tasted terrible all of a sudden. It's never come back. Daya, I'm glad you exist. I'm glad you came to market early. I'm very fond of you as a company and I have very strong personal feelings that, about the fact of your existence and I wish your product was better. Same flavor issues, A, C, and G. So one ingredient. It's, it's a tasty ingredient, it's just too much. It's really good. It's good, it's not, it's not as good as non-vegan pizza. J is a substitute. So overall effects, 100 to three. The melt, that's yeah, a pretty good melt, three. Uh, texture, texture was fine. Flavor, three and a half. Cheese J was fine. Melt on A, I give it, I think if I'm being fair, yeah, probably three and a half, because it definitely melts, but it's, it's nothing spectacular. It's certainly no C. Cheese A. Okay, that's good. The cheese has the right texture, and the flavor is cheesy. It's too cheddar -y. I think there's too much nutritional yeast in there or something. It's good, and it's the only vegan cheese, but I think I can do better. Texture is great. Four stars overall. Comments, odd taste, fine, but not impressive. All right, C with your perfect melt. I hope this tastes good. I hope it's got the right texture. Five stars. This is a vegan cheese. Hmm, texture is just right. Flavor shares the same problem as A. It actually tastes almost identical to A, but the overall effect is better because the melt is so much better and the texture is so much better. So this is that four star I wanted to give to A. The taste of B is better. God, that melt is amazing. I'm gonna guess this is BioLife, and if this isn't BioLife, then it's, it's, its formula is very similar to BioLife. Now I'm guessing this one's got a similar list of ingredients. If I'm wrong, I owe you a Coke. Comments. Great melt. Okay, flavor. So that is a perfect melt. Right up there with C. Texture, flavor. Same flavor issues as A and C. It's still really good. It's just the same issues. Texture's really good. Yeah, I'll give that one a four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the same ingredient, but G's got less of it. G's got a better flavor. God, these pizzas are all really good. Because the texture and flavor are great. Melts are perfect, quite good. It doesn't taste like much. There's not much to this one. Mm, mm. When you get a bite of just the cheese, though, it's quite good. It really blends in with the rest of the pizza. It doesn't stand out like a duty. It melts three and a half, kind of crispy looking. The texture was quite good. The flavor was quite good. Overall, I'll give it a four. Quite good. It looks like a dessert cobbler or something. It doesn't really look like cheese. Melt, give it at a three. Texture and flavor. This tastes good. It tastes like nothing else on the table. It doesn't really taste like cheese but it also doesn't have whatever ingredients make an AC and G taste weird. I wouldn't use it alone on a pizza, but I wouldn't shy away from using it on a pizza either. Because the flavor is quite good, but the melt, it's really tasty. All right, Kay, good flavor. Uh, texture, texture, yeah. One and a half. Overall, four stars. Not bad. I, <laughs> look at this thing. That did not melt at all. That is not a melted anything. 
a little brown. 0.5 stars for melt. For texture, pizza eye. It tastes like mozzarella cheese. Okay, well, it gets no points for melt, but it gets a five star for overall effect. That was unexpected. Attentive viewers will notice I skipped from 11 to 9 when grating cheeses. So what happened is this. As you saw, I really liked the Whole Foods mozzarella. Despite its low melt, it managed to take fourth place. But on the day I was supposed to film the first taste test of the finals, the Whole Foods I went to for the cheese didn't have any in stock. Whoops. Huge loss for the testers. I had to go with my next favorite cheese that Whole Foods had in stock that day, as I didn't have time to make another batch of the homemade cheese and there wasn't an Aldi or a Trader Joe's I could visit in the time available to me. So everyone else ended up with Parmela Creameries when I had hoped to serve them 365 brand. And let's see how that went for the testers. This one, it was just so far behind the others. Yes. Melt on E is pretty bad. I'll give it a one star. I'm gonna be honest, she didn't melt that well. The melt, is, yeah, it's like a one and a half, man. I think that this may be Daya because I don't like Daya. <laughs> you look like Daya. <laughs> this is like kid pizza. <laughs> it does. You popped it in the oven yeah. and got your little, a little bagel pizza or it something. It does. Little... <laughs> this is the one that most looks like a high school cafeteria French bread pizza. It doesn't look, it looks like it hasn't even gone in the oven. There's nothing going on in the, <laughs> in that department, in the pull apart. It's like, okay. It, it found like a, like a loophole on the pull apart thing <laughs> where it just separates. I might just go one and a half with it. Half star. No, it's important cosmetically. They make no difference at all. Texture. Mm, texture is nice. It's pretty good. Mm. That's good. Yeah. That uh, feels like wise too. That's really good. Mm -hmm. The texture was pretty good. Tastes like pizza. Yeah. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. pleased. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm gonna put four out of five for texture. Mm -hmm. And I may up it to five out of five on a revisit. The texture for me is binary. And this falls right in the middle where it's like, it has it. That's very good. Pretty tasty. Oh, she's pretty tasty. The texture is all wrong, though. Texture is like a three. It's pretty average. The texture was OK. I'm feeling individual pieces of cheese stay looking shredded. It like retains a little bit too much of its strandness for mm -hmm. having been melted down. Right. Flavor-wise, I mean, wow, it's really good. I'm keeping this. I'm going to eat more of it. Kind of a bland flavor. There wasn't a lot of flavor. Which is perfect for adding toppings to. Overall, what's my overall experience with D? We've trash talked D this entire time. I think out of the four, it was my least favorite one. It looks like pretty average there. But it wasn't necessarily like bad. D is the least like cheese. It's good though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, there you go. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, honestly, this one has like, very tasty. One of the better flavors. No melt. It's not melted. <laughs> I feel very similarly. <laughs> I know the melt wasn't the best and the texture wasn't the best, but the flavor was there. I'd eat this one too. It, it might be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it like two and a half. Mediocre in all categories. It's, 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 it's pizza, good. yeah. <laughs> it tastes like pizza. I think it's diet. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's what the D stands for? <laughs> Overall, I'm giving it two stars. Okay, well, it's a good pizza. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna go for B. This one has like a little crown around it. It's wearing a tiara of cheese. Uh, it's kind of brown on top. Come on, B. Yeah, B is of them all the worst. The melt yeah. on that is probably like a two. Like that is yeah. like. It's pretty bad in terms of melt. It didn't melt the best. You just dumped that on top of the for bread. Sure. This one's melt, I think, is not great. The melt was lame. I'm gonna give you like two stars for melt. And I like the melt. That looks like cheese to me. There we go. It's damn good melt. And it did melt pretty pretty well. John, is there a is there an extra thing on top of this pizza on B? Because it looks like it's got a little bit of what looks like grated Parmesan was dusted on after. Mm. But if it just melted that way, maybe this is the ideal pizza or Italian food cheese just because it has built-in Parmesan <laughs> grated. That's a good melt. Three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, why would I not give it a five? Like, what is it lacking? It didn't really melt together very much. <laughs> I can see the whole piece. <laughs> but it did brown. Most of these didn't. So there, it should get extra points for that. Come on, B. I would honestly give B like a 1.5. I actually rated the melt lower. I'll give it a three. Really? Yeah. 
not pimping. Okay, so then texture. I'm struggling on the texture one, I'm not right. sure. Mmm. <clears throat> I like this one better. I do like the texture of it for cheese. The sliminess. Yeah, I like that on a pizza. I think like the texture is closer to like the gooeyness of actual pizza. It's smooth. Right, there's definitely more of a pizza-ness to it. I like this consistency. It's not, mm -hmm. sometimes you get cheeses that kind of weird and gritty. Texture is five. Texture is fine. I don't really like the texture. I don't like the texture. The texture was like fine. It had a like more variety of texture to me. It kind of sticks to your teeth. I'm saying B is the most pizza-like. It was okay. So okay is what, two and a half? Did we both rate B the highest for texture? We did. Yes. The texture was cool. So yeah, definitely a two and a half for me too. I'm trying to get this cheese flavor <laughs> in here. Oh, that tastes really good. This is a pretty good flavor. At first. This one's not my favorite. It's okay. And it got weird. That one has more of a fake cheese taste. It has like a weird aftertaste. First bite was better than the second. Nah, I don't like that one, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't. I don't want another bite. There's an odd flavor to this. It must be sassy. Is it more sour or is it me? Is there lemon in here? It tastes like it has like like a lemony, acidy taste. Yeah, it's more sour. I kind of like that. <laughs> and yet here I sit, continue eating it. That is tasty, it definitely is nutty. No, it's good. I could f with that. Okay, something about this tastes more cheesy to me. If this was my first ever vegan pizza, I'd say we've done it. Reminds me of like cheddar almost. A decent frico. Whatever. Really, I don't like that one at all. Hmm. Oh, wait, I hate it. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not what I would choose. <laughs> flavor is four and a half. My flavor is zero. What'd you give it? Zero. A zero? I'll give it a two. Oh, gross. You're gross. I hate you. Fuck off. I know I'm giving the flavor a two on this one. You don't like the flavor? I don't. I would eat it. I could give that to one of my Boston relatives. And oh, it's a cheese. Give it to one of your aunties. Yeah. No, mm. oh, it's amazing karma. Okay, weirdly, I love the taste of bee. I liked it. So I'm gonna give that like a four. You can tell us, I like this one because I keep coming back to eat it. Can I just do three stars? You can do whatever four. you want. I can't, I can't give it a three. Well, do you? Wait, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I, I am. This is my me doing process. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Overall for B. I feel like that was the weakest one. You just did not make me happy. <laughs> I just like how that, that just is. just has good flavor. Mm, I dig it. Zero. I think I'm rating it highest for different reasons than you're rating it highest. Mm. Which is great, because that just means it has all of its bases covered. Yeah. I'll give it a three, because it looked great. Yeah, I'll give it a three. That's not five stars. This one is really good. I, I thought it was pretty good. One and a half. This is a really good pizza. Season. Although I don't know if I would use it as like a pizza piece. I wouldn't want it on my pizza. Because <laughs> the flavor was too strong. Two stars. Because flavor is very important. I think maybe sandwich with a lot of different things to mask it. Okay, I guess that averages you out to like a three. Yeah, mine's about out of. Yeah, he's about three point two. Eat more of it. Yeah. No, oh, it's it's very good. Also, a bit of a letdown though. Why? You're just like the fucking most negative person I know. today. Do I don't want to be this person. Side? Look at my feet. Hey. That's pretty. It looks like an island. It it's, looks like pizza. It looks like Motonui. It's where Moana. I I know. See, I guess we get like. A full five stars for Melton because just looking at that, like, looks bomb. It started to brown. That was cheese, but the seed was really good. Right. It, it browned in a way the other ones did. This guy's this guy's got a little burnt around the edges. It had the crispy edges. I don't know. I have a good feeling about this. No, it's great. I like the melt. The melt, I'm not digging. The melt on this is also very gross. It looks least like cheese so far. Oh no, but this is a good one. That's a really melty. C looks the nicest. I'm gonna call that like a three and a half, maybe a four on the melt. Strands were clearly there, but it like melted into the sauce and everything. Right. This one looks like um, the Parmesan cheese. It doesn't smell like anything. The melt is great. Whoa. Um, 
in a in a standard pizza, the cheese might like stretch a bunch. Sure. It don't look. It don't don't do when you tear it, it apart. Looks, it didn't adhere to itself. It looks like a cookie. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my favorite thing about it was like the melt or texture. I'm just gonna get it's it melt, one It's star. melted more than B or that, D. Well, I mean, it can't compete with, with C and G. It's like a gross melt, though. Like, it looks almost like rice. But among the rest of them, yeah, that's that's a four and a half. I don't like it. I'm just gonna give it one star. C just looked really good to me. I think it looks well, more no. like pizza because of the oil. Like, yeah, pizza has that, like, so. that sheen. But it looked like it would pull apart. And when you pull it apart, it did not, and it didn't. Not big in the book. That's like next level picky vegan dinner, I feel like. But I can't help it. Mm -hmm. Every time I talk about the way it melts and the way it browned, it's as if real cheese would. It doesn't cheese. <laughs> that decreased the melt score mm -hmm. for me, even though it looked pretty. It's better. It's like, it's two stars, I think. Mm -hmm. I am cheese. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my no, I like this texture more. I like it at the beginning. I don't care about texture at all. The <laughs> texture just keeps getting better. Wait a minute. <laughs> I do care. <laughs> C might be the most like mozzarella. Well, it was greasy. I guess I'll have to give it a three for that. Texture. Very good. C okay. had the best texture, and I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> the texture is like fine. I would give it like three and a half. It's more gooey. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't feel great. Like too gooey. Flavor. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. It tastes great. That's really good. Okay, this one's really good. I hope that this is like easily findable. Oh man. That's real fucking good. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, I like C. Yeah. I do too. <laughs> I think this tastes like cheese. I'm like eating the whole thing because I love it. <laughs> if I just had B, yeah, I'd be like, if oh, somebody cool, brought like... B to me, I'd be like, yum. But like, if somebody brought me B and C, I'd be like, get B out of my face. <laughs> That's the best vegan cheese I've had in a while. Shit. So far, this is the one that I want to keep eating. I could cry. Mm. Oh, it's fine. Don't dislike it. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> See, it's the best, for sure. This is my winner so far. Me too. But it's not leaving as strong an impression as the other two. It tastes more like Miyoko's. It doesn't have as much personality. Mm. I think I like the flavor on this one. You're gonna be fine for everything. Um, the texture. Taste texture, maybe three and a half. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Four stars. Four and a half for flavor. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the whole thing. <laughs> I like the flavor. I don't think I like the flavor. No, I didn't like it, man. You don't? I liked it. It took me a second because I thought I really liked because it tasted like cheese. Mm. I don't know. I don't think I love it. I don't think it's good. Like the first I tasted, I was like, oh, hey, cheese. There you are. I actually yeah. really like the flavor. Would you eat it? Would you be happy to eat it if someone gave it to you? Would you be like, cool, yeah, I can do that. Because I'd eat it. I think it's really good, even though I don't really care for the milk. I think I would eat it. OK, I just want to say this was a really successful pizza. I'd give the flavor a solid four. Reminded me of ricotta cheese, but didn't have a texture of ricotta cheese. Yeah, may mm -hmm. maybe not the best pizza choice. This is the one that I would choose for lasagna. But I, I did enjoy the flavor. I, I wholeheartedly agree. What about the flavor was good to you? I don't know, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same way. <laughs> we're not we're not meant to be on YouTube. <laughs> C is not Miyoko's that so I'm a fucking convert because the texture on C and the flavor is superior. I'm gonna give it a three overall. Uh yeah, C is definitely the best one. I agree. I think anyone that's had real cheese would say that. Which is like I everyone. Think I guess I'd give it a four overall. You know what? I, I think I didn't like the pull apart. It was, but it's like I'm an adult, right? Like, I can't do the whole. I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> the cheese is not green, by the way. I'll give it a three. 
That feels good. That was so confusing to me. I'm the only one. I think I'm gonna be the negative Nancy of this. You are? Sample, yeah. Oh my god, five stars, let's see. <laughs> Five, five, five. Man, I know I keep saying it, but oh man, this is really, really good. C got four and a half. Overall, yeah, I guess C four and a half. Texture-wise, I'm at a four. Flavor, I'm at like a four and a half. How yeah. how upsetting are you finding my stars? Because I'm not coloring in lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much better than everything that came before. Best so far. For a minute. I forgot that we were rating these. I was just eating cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I was just eating pizza. Mm. Ready? Just A. Boop. Boop. <laughs> it, well, it did, did melt, melt pretty well. Melt is a five, like that. See, like these, these melted pretty well. This one mm -hmm. was a little bit more stranded than this one. This one, like I said, crystallized a whole other cheese out of it. This one looks like it has the best melt for sure. It's pretty melty. The pieces on the side that I've been picking off. He's a little, little burnt on the edge. I think it's more cheese because it's like it's it matches the color right mm. on the edges of it. So how does the burnt taste? Is my what I'm burnt, gonna, my, my first question is how does it taste when it's burnt? And that's a really good flavor on it. I ain't getting any burnt. Tastes a little burnt. I don't know. I like charred foods. It's very <laughs> good. Tight. I like this one. I'm gonna give a three and a half melting stars. Cause it's pretty good. Yeah, I like that melt. Pretty melty. I like it. It's good. This looks kind of like a cheap mozzarella wood. Like sometimes a cheap mozzarella, before I was vegan, it wouldn't always melt on the pizza either. This actually kind of, as far as legitimacy of melts goes, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. So the melt visually looks pretty good. The melt is there. The melt is there. The melt is real. It's real. Look, it's dripping down. It's real melty. OK. You know what? I'm just going to give it a melt. It's got the best melt by I'm far. I'm going to melt start. Oh, yeah, that's a damn good melt. I'll give you some more melt score. But A is like a three and a half melt. Yeah. I would say precisely that. <laughs> that's a sexy melt. I like it. This is a pretty good damn damn good melt. I'm gonna give it pretty fine the, melt. The five. Mighty fine melt. The oh, five. mine's burnt on the bottom. Okay, I see you. Five I see stars. Who's going for melt? I'm gonna give it four. Now, see, I touched it, and I was reminded that it's not cheese. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> okay, good on melt. Texture? The texture is good. It's really impressive. It's real good. I'm getting very similar vibes from A and C. Maybe even a little bit more crispness on A. I'm pretty happy with this pizza. I'd eat this. Again, I think A or C would be great in the lasagna. Is it because it's like falling apart in your mouth? Yeah, more? a little, little yeah, bit. I'm getting that now. I'm not a fan of like the texture. I am. Really? Yeah. Mm. The cheese feels more like a sauce than a cheese. Like it sticks in your mouth a little bit. Not to me. Like it's falling apart. It's it's more creamy. Creamy. Creamy than than pizza generally is. That's true. Right? There's a creamy right? Yeah. I still eat it. I mean, it's good. <laughs> like, it's not, you the know? texture isn't like horrible, but it's got like a, it feels a little like slimy almost to me. Really? Yeah. Occasionally has kind of powder in it. The powdered cheese essence. Oh, it's like a little bit uh, grainy. Maybe, a, maybe a little bit. I didn't see him thinking of maybe tying on texture. As much as I hate to just give things the same score, because it feels like I should I should be able to order them, but they're pretty, they're like neck and neck on texture. Texture's five. That's the right texture. It was not unpleasant. <laughs> it was not unpleasant. Question number three. Four? I give it a three. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mmm. <laughs> it's really impressive. This is really good. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Flavor was good. I definitely liked its yeah. flavor more than anything else for that cheese. Yeah, that was, I'm gonna give that a five. I saved this one for last, I thought the melt looked the best, but like, wow. Flavor's pretty dynamite too. It tastes real. Yeah, I like it when vegan cheese tastes like real cheese. It tasted like cheese. That's a nice change. I can't tell the difference at all. <laughs> like it's real, it does not be vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Throws it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Throw my whole life out the window. <laughs> 
This flavor is amazing. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I'm just genuinely so surprised. It's quite good. We do at least like three vegetarians. We try to do like a vegan thing each week. I always also thought that I had to just not have well, a cheese thing. Right. And now it's like you can actually make a presentable pizza that someone who doesn't eat vegan cheese is like, oh sh. This is a trap. <laughs> this is this is Admiral Akbar. Yeah. It's not bad. This is this is how you like gateway someone into vegan cheese. The flavor is good. I don't taste anything. <laughs> So it can't get a bad score. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like follow your heart, though. Because this one, the others are good. But it's like, you know when you have a cat? Like someone has a cat? And you're like, man, that's a cool cat because it acts like a dog. And you mm -hmm. think about getting one, and then you go out and get a cat, and it's terrible because it's a cat. <laughs> like, I no, feel like... because all cats are great, and I love them. I feel like without... I, I need this knowledge, so I don't go and do like a, oh, I ate this really good vegan cheese, and then I go out, and then I buy the plastic shit that I'm used to, you Not know? all vegan cheese is created. I don't want to be chasing Some waterfalls. I want to be getting this. That does kind of remind me of Holly Hart. Yeah. <laughs> now that you're saying it, but I don't know. Okay. I really like A&C though. You don't like A? I, um, <laughs> I just need more of it. I really love it. It's kind of like watery. They're ruining the flavors experience for me right now. <laughs> it's really good. I'm still digging on on my on my boy C over here. Mm -hmm. This is I'm delighted. Mm -hmm. I am delighted. Man, fuck C. Hmm. A is sweeter. I love C. A is where it's at. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna be so embarrassed if A is not Miyoko's, but I'm convinced A is Miyoko's. I'm pretty sure you got me fucked up on this. He's revealing nothing. He's sitting over here like. <laughs> yeah, it so says this doesn't taste like any pizza that I've ever had. You're just a hater, okay? But, mm -hmm. but I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it was a five. I'm just gonna keep eating that one forever if we don't move on. <laughs> the flavor is good. <laughs> the flavor was bomb. I gave it four stars texture just because I'm not sure yet. When I first did it, I was like, this has no flavor. It does. <laughs> you just have to, like, get into it, you know? So this one has whatever is giving A and C, A and D, yeah, A and C that flavor. The thing that's giving A and C their flavor, this also has that ingredient, but it has less of it, and it makes more sense. This is a better, this is a better formula. Four, I'm gonna trust my first instincts. Four is the way to go. Oh, it's definitely good. Oh my god, no, this is my favorite one. This is really good. I was tempted to give this five stars on overall. Yeah. Four and a half? That's what I gave it so far. Just so that it can still be in competition. I'll let the testers do a tiebreaker on that one. I think you were right about A having more flavor to it than just like a mozzarella. Right. I'm giving That's you all the things. Flavor. I'm giving you all of them. Five out of five? I love you. Whoa! I love you. Live in my body forever. I'm I'm still thinking about this guy though. It's above par. I think that's my overall assessment. I don't know. This one I really liked. I'm actually I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna give this one five stars because I really like this yeah. one. Yeah. I don't. Great pizza cheese. No, I'm not a big fan of A. But big it's getting it. the most points. I really like A. This is actually the best um vegan yeah. pizza. Yeah. Okay. I would have to agree. I think I'm also rate A overall, too. Cool. But it's getting, it's getting so many points in the melt category. Yeah. That's fours across the board for me. Yeah, because if it gave me that, that cheese, that, yeah, okay. That, 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 what did I put? Three and a half stars. I'd buy this. Okay. <laughs> as as far as like as far as I go, it's like someone who like I'm not a vegan cheese guy. Don't try it. Just like just give me food that I can eat. It feels like I can do that. I know. I gave it the highest score. Oh, cool. Yeah, me too. I guess A is better. I gotta give A some more points. I fucking told you. You you dumb. You dope. Your, the pizza doesn't taste better the louder your voice gets, okay? Okay. Inside voices. I'm just livid now. What if I was that mean all the time? 
I think I want to add a little half a star to my overall for A. Really? Just because I'm proud of it. Why are you proud of it? You know how hard it is to go first? I just really like A. That's the one that I would buy. So, A is my winner. Put a plane in my flag. Overall, I'm giving A a four and a half. It's like a, it, I didn't taste it at first, but then like I ate the cheese itself and it was, it was there. <laughs> Did I put it on thicker on the pizza this time? Okay. No, it's good. Okay. A, I think I'll give you an overall four. I, um, I would eat any of these, I think. Not me. My favorite was A. Okay. I can say that confidently. I think the winner, according to my, is A. This is the only correct cheese ever. Man, I want to. I want. Can you make me like ten more pizzas? With <laughs> okay. I need ten more pizzas for my decision making. <laughs> for science. For science. <laughs>So there you have it. After two months and 15 taste tests, Follow Your Heart won the competition, edging out Miyoko's by a mere 19 hundredths of a point. Thanks so much to our testers, and thanks so much to you for watching. If you're looking for the statistical favorite of this competition, look no further than Follow Your Heart. Of course, you're under no obligation to take our word for it. Each of these cheeses is available for sale all over the country. And if I've learned anything from these interviews, it's that taste is both highly subjective and highly variable between individuals. If you're really interested in knowing which cheese you like best, buy a few and try them yourself. For example, despite the fact that Follow Your Heart won, the pizza I've made for myself today is a combination of Miyoko's and 365 mozzarella. I found the oiliness and meltability of Miyoko's, oh my god, this looks go so good blends very well with the flavor of Whole Foods brand and gives me a flavor I look for on my pizza while still giving me that satisfying melt. Oh my god, this looks so good. If I were making a grilled cheese for myself or if I were making a pizza for Whitney and Chris, I'd probably go with Follow Your Heart. Oh, and one more thing. I mentioned at the top of the video that I would uh, give special mention to the local cheese brands that I've come to love, Fromage and Nodo brands. I found Nodo brands at a vegan street fair in Hollywood Testers Kiera and Richard both mentioned that one thing they missed about dairy. Eh, I'm not even that much of a cheese person anymore. I still love like just cheese sticks. I want like uh, uh, mozzarella sticks. And I have to agree, they're really good. And after tasting Nodo's mozzarella sticks, I put that problem firmly in the past. This one is solved. Tragically, Nodo's only shipping to California, Nevada, and Arizona, but their owner and proprietor, Terry, seemed interested in finding a way to grow her manufacturing and distribution, so, you know, investors get on that. She's got a dynamite product, the market is hot, Terry's your girl, go find her at nodobrands.com. Now, for my personal favorite, Vramage. Vramage is a world-class vegan cheese shop located in North Hollywood. Owner and founder Yusuf Fakuri's cheeses are so well known and so renowned that he was featured in the royal wedding album of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. While planning this video, I went and bought some Vramage to try and was so moved by its quality that I spoiled the uh, surprise on my Instagram. Okay, y'all, this Vramage, I just took my first bite of this. This is the best vegan cheese. This is the best vegan cheese. They're in LA, you have to come to LA. And Yusuf in turn was so moved by my video that the next time I visited him to buy more of Ramage, he surprised me with a treat. He's, he's taken some pizza, some, some cheese over to the, to the pizza place next door and he said he'll be right back. Some, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe like start digging in, my friend. Appreciate it. <laughs> so if you're ever in Southern California and want to have the best cheese the royal family can buy, make sure to stop by Yusuf's shop, Vramage, or check him out online at vramage.com. I can't promise that Yusuf will make you a pizza, but I can promise that you'll enjoy the cheese. And that's it. The pizza taste test video is complete. I guess I'll do some other stuff with my life now. Bye everyone. Thanks so much for watching that video, everyone. 
Be sure to mash that like button if you enjoyed the show. I'll be back at the beginning of October to share my pizza recipe with you in all its glory. So be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell if you'd like to receive a notification when that goes up. If you'd like to support these recipe and research videos while I build the Vegify software, you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Vegify. The Rise of the Matriarchy and Feminism is the Law Now shirts were purchased from the Bechdel Cast online store. If you don't listen to the Bechdel Cast, you should. It's a podcast about women in film hosted by two amazingly funny comics, Caitlin Durante and Jamie Loftus both of whom are shining examples of human beings who deserve every ounce of love you can throw their way. The Doritos Not Dictator shirt I wore in the last video can be found at the Behind the Bastards online store. If you don't listen to Behind the Bastards, you should. Robert Evans takes us deep into history and the worst people in it. And that teaches us a lot about handling the terrible people of today. I recommend it highly. Can't recommend it highly enough. The Stranger Things motif came about for three reasons. One, the music library I licensed from had the tracks. Two, the phrases vegan cheese and Stranger Things have similar scansion. It's not identical, but it's similar. Vegan cheese, Stranger Things. Three, Stranger Things is awesome. And that's it. Okay, see you next time. Thanks everyone.